Hello, and you're watching Number Wang Night here on BBC Two. Coming up in an hour, Wangs for the Memory, where we'll be discussing how Number Wang has been used to combat dementia. But first, a history of Number Wang. I'm standing on hallowed ground. This is the famous Number Wang basement at the BBC. In that corner was the great Alan Turing's desk, where he sat for many months after the Second World War, tragically trying to de-gay himself with a laser. <laughs> in more tolerant times, it was just over there in the late 1960s where David Frost reputedly had sex with the number 11 on a mattress. He swears to this day that it was 16. <laughs> and, of course, as you all know, this is the home of Colosson, the number wang computer, which calculates whether or not it is number wang. That's number wang. Eight minus four. That's number wang, Simon. 109 times 17. That's number wang, Julie. 47. <laughs> Today, Number Wang is a vast global franchise like McDonald's, U2 and the Catholic Church all rolled into one. <laughs> but few would guess that it came from the relatively humble beginnings of not yet existing. All that changed in 1936 here at Cambridge University where philosopher and logician Bertrand Russell was contemplating the mysteries of existence. I had spent the morning proving to myself that my chair existed so that I could sit down when it suddenly struck me. How do we really know whether it is or it is not number wang? <laughs> On my desk, I saw a jug, and in a flash of inspiration, I knew I had solved it. Smashing the jug, lest anyone copy my work, I went across to the rooms of my very good friend Wittgenstein. I opened the door, and I said to him, quite simply, that's number wang. <laughs> As I remember, he cried. <laughs> After the publication of Russell's 1,400-page treatise, It Is Number Wang, it was quickly optioned by the BBC and turned into a game show. Good evening, and welcome to a new piece of the endlessness which we're calling Number Wang. However, due to the incredible complexity of the mathematics involved, it proved impractical. Miss Julie? Seven. We'll just have to check that with the boffins. What's that number, Wang? It'll take a few hours, I'm afraid. Well, in the meantime, some music. Fortunately, the war intervened, and at Bletchley Park, a tremendous discovery was invented, and simultaneously, a tremendous invention discovered. It's now or never, Tom. Run the sequence. Right here. 4, 8, 15, 162, 3,420. Good God, it actually works. It actually bloody works, you genius. I say, chaps, you don't suppose we could use this machine for anything else, do you? Like what? I don't know, um, something to help with the war or something. <laughs> um. <laughs> and so Colosson was born. After the war, Colosson's creators supervised the fitting of head, arms, legs, and laser cannons in order to transport it to the BBC, where, in 1949, Number Wang returned triumphantly to our screens. Ah, hello, hello. Welcome to Number Wang with me, Robert Robinson, and the world's first commercial Number Wang-solving computer, Colosson. Colossum. Indeed you are. Round one, Miss Julie to play first. Seven. Could it be number one? Colossum? No. Ah, would that it were number one. Alas, it is not. Mr. Simon? Number Wang quickly became the most popular game in Britain and newspapers got in on the act by publishing daily number Wang puzzles for their readers. It's a tough one today. Yes, yeah, tricky. That's number one. Oh, damn it, Reg always gets it first. And number one continued to grow in popularity despite a brief period in the 1960s when Colosson attempted to take over the world. Round two, fish numbers. Julie? E11. 
Let's ask Colosson. Where's he gone? Oh, my God, Colosson's loose! I am Colosson. I am number one. The world is number one. Therefore, I am the world. You must all die. Luckily, Colosson's designers had foreseen this eventuality and built in a failsafe whereby Colosson would shut down if he was shown a picture of a chicken. I am Colossum, I am number one, the world is number one. And so, with Colosson back under control, Number Wang established itself as the best program ever made and spawned numerous versions across the globe in countries like Australia, such as New Zealand. It's Number Wang. Australia itself. <laughs> oh, mate, that's Number Wang. And even America. Yes, that is a number. Which is why today, wherever you go in the world, you'll always hear people say, take it away, Colosson. Oh, my God. Colosson's escaped. He's loose. That's my picture of a chicken. Oh, my God. Oh, where is he? Oh, that's a man. You are not number one. You must die. Television is not number one. Television must die.